So before we get into all inclusives, which I know we have a lot to talk about, um, I do want to ask about something that's been in the headlines this week. And I know international travel is becoming more and more of a real possibility for clients, but now we're hearing about passport issues. Um, so I wanted to ask what you're hearing from clients about passport times and any of your experiences. And I was hoping we could start with you, Sonia, if you could give us a little bit about, uh, about what you're hearing. Well, um, the passport issue has not gone away, first of all. It is definitely something that um, we are challenged with in the travel industry. And what we talk about in our um, office is basically preparing for that. You know, um, they're taking, and I know that it's, the number is changing, but at least um, three months for them to return if they're applying for it new. If they have already applied for it um, either before, um, you know, like last year or even in the beginning of the year, some people are getting them back still in um, like, a, you know, three or four months. So the best thing to do is, um, you know, just make sure your agents are getting copies of your clients' um, passports if they have them, because a lot of people don't pull it out until the last minute. And then that's when they discover oh, that it's smart. either expired or, you know, their name has changed or whatever the case is. So that's one of the number one things and number one changes that we've made in our office. So it is a problem. Um, but as travel professionals, we need to just make sure that we are proactive in that area. Yeah, I've never I've never heard uh, that as a tip for advisors to have to make sure you're sort of acting as a concierge to your clients in terms of getting your passport renewed. That's that's a really unique tip. You know, you you have to be careful because you don't want to take responsibility. Like if they send it to you, then they're like, oh, you had my passport. You know, you um, should have made sure that everything was OK. But what we do, we just say as an edit um, and, you know, an edit. um I guess, I don't want to call it a luxury, but it's just part of what we do. We uh, want to make sure that everything is going to go smooth. And that is why we asked for it. And we have had no pushback from any of our clients. And actually, it has made our lives very easy um, because of what's going on right now. And, and Melissa, I know you've had ex you've had a couple of experiences with uh, with clients and passport issues over the past over the past little while here. Could you could you tell us a little bit about what you're hearing and, and what are you talking about with your clients? Absolutely. I feel like every every day I'm getting an email from somebody asking for assistance, getting their passport expedited or whatnot. Um, I think the the most important thing is at the beginning of the planning process, asking when does your passport expire or do you have a passport? And then being realistic. Um, I had a honeymoon consult yesterday. She does not have a passport. They wanna travel in December and we had to have that real life. We can, we can proceed with this planning, but we may wanna have a backup. And then we always recommend travel protection, but especially in those instances that cancel for any reason, because a lot of insurance won't cover not having a passport. So being really careful to kind of have that in place so that we can pivot at the last minute and change destinations if necessary. Yeah, I know because we...